Hi, it's Jennifer. I'm here doing a requested video. Um, I had recently posted my Ulta dumpster dive video and had a lot of questions on um, the comments on how you do it and little questions like that. So I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions and tell you a little bit about how if you want to get into dumpster diving, what you need to do and how you need to do it. And uh, then not long after this video, I still have to go through the stuff we got yesterday. Um, I will also have a requested video showing us actually doing the dumpster diving. Um, and then I will do my haul video. Uh, the haul video is going to take a little bit because uh, the stuff that we got the other day, there was, as I say, ooey gooey's on them. Um, a shampoo had leaked and so everything's covered in shampoo or conditioner. So I've got to go through and actually wipe all the boxes and containers and everything off before I do the video. I don't want to bring that all in the house with shampoo and conditioner all over it. It's kind of nasty. So, here we go. We're going to get into this. The first one, this is from, um, and I'm sorry, I know she's a subscriber of mine. She watches most of my videos. And I'm going to spell it just because I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's B-F-L-Y-R-E-N-E-E. -E. So, um, B fly Renee, I guess. Um, she wanted just to get some details. Um, is it illegal? And um, and she wants to know how you get in the dumpster. Okay. So um, in most states, it is not illegal. You do have to check with your local, uh, look up your local um, statutes, see if it is. In most places in the United States, it is not illegal. The only way that you cannot get in a dumpster or go through their trash is if there are signs posted that says no trespassing or if there is a lock. Uh, if it's like behind a gate and it's locked, you cannot go into that. Then it's trespassing and you can get arrested for that. Um, so that's one thing. Um, I just got started just watching the videos and I just started going around to some of my local stores and not a whole lot. I've seen I'm in a couple groups on Facebook that's like Dollar General when they penny stuff out on Tuesdays. Sometimes they'll throw this stuff away on Monday nights. I've seen a lot of people that go to their dumpsters and check them out on Monday nights. Because um, as I said, a lot of them will throw them away on either Monday or Tuesday. So, and I just started kind of getting interested in it. And then I've seen a lot of videos. Some people do grocery stores so that they can get produce that they can wash off and use. Um, some people do residential, some do businesses. It's just your preference. My neighbor actually does it every now and then and we live in a big uh, college town. So what she does is when the college kids leave in the summertime and a lot of them move out, uh, a lot of the kids, they just throw stuff away. Um, the next year, if they, they're going to another school, or if they're graduating, whatever, mom and daddy will just buy them new stuff. So what they do is they just throw the stuff away. So that is a good way. Um, and I may actually try that um, this summer when the kids get out of school. Sorry, little man's supposed to be taking a nap, so he's a little upset in the back room. So, um, and those you just go like around the college, around the time that school lets out for the summer. Go check on, around campus, any of the dorms, any apartments around the campus, on the campus itself, if they've got them on the campus. And that's a good way to check and um, get some stuff like that. They throw stuff away. She gave, she got a huge thing of Cascade, uh, the packs for the dishwasher. She doesn't have a dishwasher, so she gave them to me. This was last summer, and I still have them. So, I haven't had to buy dishwashing packs or tablets or anything for over a year because she went and got them. Uh, like I said, some people do residents. Um, the ones that I've watched that do residents, they usually do ones that have like back alleys or they, behind their houses where they put the dumpsters out um, or their, their trash cans and then they'll go through their trash cans or see what they've set out. I'm not real big on that just because in the area that I live, there I wouldn't find a lot of stuff anyway. So, like I said, unless it was around the college. And then other people do businesses. And it is kind of hard. Actually, where I live, it is very hard to find um, areas that have the dumpsters that you can go to. 
what I did is now at the malls it's going to be very hard to get them because they have them usually in one place and they're locked up so you can't get to them. But what I started doing is just checking out like the strip malls. If you've got like a little shopping center like one that we went to yesterday it's got Joann's and Tuesday morning and Dollar General and then a bunch of little food stores or whatever. So what we do is when we go by we just go out back behind the shopping center and look through you see the dumpster sometimes and once it how do you know it's an Ulta dumpster how do you know it depends um, I kind of familiarize myself with this the layout from the front so that I know where I'm going approximately which dumpster would be for this certain store um, but some of the shopping centers that we go through they actually have labels on the dumpster that tells you what the store is like there's the justice store old navy tj maxx marshall's um fabulous or famous footwear old navy and they'll actually have stickers or have it spray painted on them what store that dumpster is for so that helps um i got into the ulta uh, because i was watching some dumpster dive videos on on youtube that showed ulta hauls that they got and it's funny when I watched them there was nothing really recent most of them were back from either July or September so probably around like the end of a season you can go and find a whole bunch of stuff the reason I've been trying the Ulta lately is just because it's after Christmas and I figured there would be a lot of returns so possibly I could find a lot of good stuff that way so um, that's hope I answered that one for you the next question that I have on here, um, do you do it during the day? I myself do it during the day just because that's the only time I am available to do it. It is a preference. Some people prefer to do it at night just because you don't have to worry about people driving by and seeing you or stores getting deliveries or employees walking out to throw something in their dumpster and seeing you in it. Like I said, you can't get in trouble for it, but it's just that kind of taboo and you just don't want to get caught doing it. Um, so, but for me, um, we have a record service, so we get calls 24 seven at night. I can't go out and do it because I can't leave the baby with daddy because if something happens and he has to go out on a record call, he, he can't take the baby. So I am not available to do mine at night. Um, so it is kind of a preference. Uh, some people, like I said, they go early, early in the morning, like 6 o'clock in the morning or so before the stores open. Some go after the stores close. I typically don't get started till usually 2 or 3 in the afternoon, and that's only because when I go, I plan my week that I'm going to go shopping on this day. So, And I plan, or I've got to go and collect from my customers, so I set me up a route to where okay I'm gonna start here I'm gonna do this so that I don't waste any gas and I end up closest to where I want to start doing the dumpster diving once I get done with my business stuff that I have to handle then I will go do the dumpster diving and check it out so like I said that's just my preference it depends on what you want for me it would be easier during the day just because you can see at night you know you have to worry about trying to have a flashlight or something like that and sometimes when I go, I'm by myself. It's just me and the baby. So I have to pull the car right up next to the dumpster, glance in, see if there's anything in it. And then um, I don't want to get, I can't leave the car far away from the dumpster because of the baby. So I just park the car where he's right next to me while I'm at the dumpster. A lot of those times I don't actually get in the dumpster because I can't get to the car if something happened to the baby. So what I do is those are the days when it's just me that I will go and just kind of glance in, look and see what's in there. If I see something, I'll grab it. If I'm not going to dig and try to find them if I've got the baby with me. Which is why most of the time when I go, I take my friend with me. So that either she'll get out and scout and go look in and see if there's anything in it. And if there is, then I will get out and go in and jump in. Because I'm more limber and she can't do it. So, that's um, how... That's how I do it. So like I said, it's just a preference on how you would like to do it. Um, let's see. Um, one, Isabel O had said, you know, my Ulta is always a mess. Um, the first several times that I did it, 
it was a miss for me as well. I may have found one or two small little of the sampler or the tester items, but not much. You just have to, when you're doing dumpster diving, at first you're probably going to want to go, you know, whenever you're out, go by and check it. Right, to have a little calendar or a piece of paper or something and write on it, okay, I went by on a Monday and there was nothing in, or there, you know, I didn't find anything. Or the dumpster was empty, which lets you know the trash had just been picked up. Check it out so that you check it out on different days of the week. And you'll find out um, after, you know, a few times that, okay, Mondays are not a good day, day, to, day to go. Or Wednesdays are not a good day to go. Or Saturdays are not a good day to go. And it's going to take you a little bit to realize your store's schedule and when they're going to throw stuff out. Like I said, the reason I've been checking lately is because I knew it was Christmas. A lot of people will be having returns, so they'll be throwing a lot of that stuff out. If it's something they just, you know, one or two things. Sometimes it's that one thing's missing or like I had a little domino set that it was the box, but the dominoes weren't in it. That's fine. My son uses it to put his little Hot Wheels in or little toys when we go out shopping or we go out to eat or something he's got a little looks like a little suitcase that he puts his toys in so it worked it was free um, I would have liked to have gotten the dominoes in it but that's fine so that was that one um, let's see uh, da, 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 da. let's see okay I covered is it against the law Okay, so that's pretty much all the questions that have been um, asked on my YouTube video as of yet. If you have any more questions, just feel free to leave the questions below and I will do an additional video answering any questions that you guys might have. So now I'm just going to give you a little details on about how to get started and what you need to do. What I do is I always take, I went to Walmart and I got in the healthcare section, like where the, or actually first aid section and we got a small little box of latex gloves has it comes with eight gloves in the box and it's 97 cents so that will have what I'll do is when I go out I'll wear it when I get in there I wipe them off take them off and then I'll use that for one them for one day um, I always carry a I had actually gotten some softy antibacterial wipes to review through Thomason so what I do, and it's a pretty big, so I carry a san sanitizer wipe so that we can wipe our hands, wipe anything we might need to wipe immediately. Um, if you don't have the antiseptic wipes, just take you some sanitizer. When you get back in, wipe your hands off. I do suggest using gloves, though, just because you don't know what's on it, anything in there. Like I said, luckily, last time I went to Ulta, I didn't have any. This time when I went, I had the gloves, which is very good because everything had the ooey-gooey on it, so I didn't get it on my hands. Um, another thing that I always take with me, I take a little step stool. Mine is just a little stool that's about that tall, just enough so that I can jump up in it if I need to. And then I've got one of the Reach It Grab It's the one that's on the little stick. It's got the handle on, whoop, handle on one side to, to, um, to grab it like that. And then it'll snap down and grab anything if you need to pull it to you. So those are some of the things that I take with me every time I go. Um, actually, the footstool, the little stool, and the reach it, grab it, stay in my vehicle at all times because if I'm out somewhere, I may just go and stop and see what I can find. So, that's that. Um, always make sure you wear something comfortable, something that you don't mind getting dirty if you are planning on doing it. Um, now, I've seen a lot of the uh, videos that I watch that people do dumpster dives. They actually, the dumpsters come up to about right here or maybe a little bit lower, but they're pretty high up. Um, so, if you want to do this, um, I suggest you getting a step stool that has several steps so that you can climb up in it. Um, you'll see in my next video when you're, it actually shows me getting in and out of them. So you'll see how I do that. Um, but some of our dumpsters I actually love because it's got the lids that come open and shut, but on the sides about waist height if even that, maybe even a little bit lower, they've got the doors that open. Well, those are very easy to crawl into and get in if you need to. So it's just basically sticking your leg up and walking in it instead of having to jump in them. So, and a lot of the stores, uh, if you go to like the strip malls, that's where you'll find them. Um, 
what stores do I do I do it just depends what's in the area where I'm at I've learned um, as I've gone through town I've kind of looked at the the shopping centers and you know I'll go behind and see do they have dumpsters that are available in my area Michaels Hobby Lobby they have um, like TJ Maxx some of the bigger Kohl's places like that they actually have the trash compactors so they put the stuff straight into the compactor so you can't get them but you'll learn that by just going through if you see a shopping center and you see a store in there uh, a lot of people that I've watched they go to GameStop um, like I said some go to Michaels and Hobby Lobby uh, we aren't able to in my area just because of the way that the uh, dumpsters are they don't actually have dumpsters um, but if you want you may not know that you have an Ulta or maybe a Sephora store or something that you want so just look it up online see where it's at and go by and see if they have a dumpster behind it and or if you're out and about you're out shopping and you see something you say hey I wonder if there's it just ride around back and see what well, doesn't hurt to check it out and that's how I found all of the stores um, watch videos on YouTube if you watch them some of the people tell you the stores that they went to that they were able to get some stuff from uh, when I went now my video it, it's gonna be a little deceiving because everything that we filmed was when we actually found something now there was about six or seven if not more dumpsters that we checked that had nothing in them it was just trash so or they were empty it you know depending on what area of town they were in so what you have to do is just remember that everything you're showing I didn't show you the ones that because we went to so many yesterday we've got our route we hit everywhere and then added a few that we usually don't go to yesterday so and we're just trying to pick it up and figure out the days we've you know we figured out what days in our area are good to go and dumpster dive um, if we're out and about we'll always just swing through and check and see um, but some of the places that I that I check are like craft stores see if they have anything out back um, stores like Marshall's home goods TJ Maxx Tuesday morning any stores like that check check them dollar generals family dollars I've seen a lot of people that have got some great stuff on family dollar um, so Dollar Tree family dollar dollar general um, Ulta Sephora Target Walmart now you gotta watch some of the Walmarts do have the no trespassing up uh, so you have to watch that just make sure when you're going that you you're aware of your surroundings look around and make sure there aren't any no trespassing signs so I think that's about got it covered if you have any additional questions please feel free to just leave it in the comments below I will answer and um, as good as I can in the comments and if I think it's something that needs a more detailed description or answer I will do another video so I hope everybody is having a great weekend like I said I'm gonna go I've got to do some housework then I've got to clean up that and then I'll be doing the the haul that we did yesterday uh, where we actually filmed it so make sure to like subscribe share and I will leave all the comments, uh, I'm sorry, the links below for my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. And we'll see you next time. Bye.